I've been trying to break a rule of mine, a uh, struggle I usually have with uh, watching new stuff. Can you be here? I am here. Are I'm, you? Yes, I'm hearing you. Yeah, but you're like not talking at all. Yeah, I didn't have anything to say about Brody Lee. Uh, yeah, you don't watch as much as I do. No. I've been trying to break a rule of mine, not even a rule, it's just an unfortunate problem with my mentality of not, my mental energy of not being able to handle watching new stuff. Mm-hmm. And you need to go get that. But like, I want to talk about Sweet Home. That, yeah, that's... We'll go into... Let, let's do your part first, then. We watched two miniseries. They're not mini. Well, one... They're two first seasons of a series. One is uh, Sweet Home. The other is Ratchet. Mm-hmm. Go. <laughs> I like the both... <laughs> Thank you for your input. Now go... <laughs> <laughs> okay uh i'll pose a question to you first which one did you like more out of the both of them sweet home hardcore me too oh yeah okay so <laughs> if you haven't watched sweet home uh it's on netflix it's based off both of these are. yeah it's based off of a korean comic like an original creator it's so fucking good yeah so i don't want to uh, spoiled too much of the premise, but eh. well, the premise can be spoiled. Just don't spoil the ending. Right. Okay. So, uh, the basic premise is all of these people live in an apartment building, and then a new epidemic, just apocalyptic kind of thing. Topical. Yeah, destroys the world, and what it ends up doing is it's both a disease. But it's based off of human selfishness and desire. And it literally morphs people into grotesque monsters. Based around what? Their biggest fear or their worst trait or what? Uh, it can be fear, insecurities, or their biggest want. Yeah. So, so it, it's, like a, it's like a zombie virus, but if the zombie was a boggart. Yeah. So, But it's the designs of the monsters are, are all really really amazing and then the characters are all i mean there's one or two that are obnoxious but that's how it works in real life <laughs> yeah <laughs> and oh god there's it the the show does not shy away from just like hurting you profoundly oh yeah but that's what makes it like so engaging and good so I please rem- for the love of christ i remember saying to you it was like when people think that their, their favorites die in like the walking dead or game of thrones like this is one season yeah and they fuck up your favorite oh god yeah they do and the i think the relationships are very real and very wonderfully put yeah. even the ones between like characters who are absolutely irredeemable there is a real life quality to them and yeah. I, that no that, one's simple yeah and I, I don't just say, oh, it's because of Netflix. I think the actual creator, the comic book creator, has so much fucking talent. Yeah. That it just, you know. I and A couple I, of janky CG moments. Oh, I, but I also like that it's the charm of it. Because yeah. it's this grotesque, unreal. It's, yeah. It's meant to be such a juxtaposition. It's supposed to look completely insane. Like... You could never imagine something like this could happen. Yeah. And they're supposed to change so much because their own, you know, desires and fears and whatever have made them absolutely inhuman yeah. that there there's nothing tethering them. And, and, that, that's yeah. how I see it. And there's a play on whether it's a, a death sentence or if it's an improvement. But that's already getting a little too far into it. Mm-hmm. It's absolutely great. I'll, I'll give more of my thoughts on that after, but uh, your your turn on Ratched. So, uh, Ratched, uh, you pre- never saw One Who Flew Over the Cuckoo's Nest, did no, you? No, I did not. Okay. But this is a prequel. Yeah. I saw One Who Flew Over the Cuckoo's Nest, and that movie oh, fucked me up. Well, not fucked me up, but it, it was it was also very deeply emotional. Mm-hmm. So, uh, I was like, oh, you know, I'm interested in the whole Ratched thing. But I didn't think her backstory would be 
as interesting because she's a sadistic fucking bureaucrat really in, yeah. in one who flew over the cuckoos next yeah like she didn't even seem that significant when i was reading on the plot of the that movie she just sort of was there and then stuff happens but yeah. like she she was not like the main thing she kind of is in a sense but uh the whole thing about Nurse Wretched and one who flew over the cuckoo's nest is, it's, it's hard to describe. But let's talk about Ratchet. It. Let's talk about Ratchet. The point is, after knowing who the character becomes, I I saw Nurse Ratchet as more of a lead up into like an American horror story type of oh, deal. Yeah. It than, is presented very yeah. much like a horror movie. It is. And that it's supposed to be like a direct quote unquote prequel was, direct. was a little uh strange to me. But I still enjoyed it like very yeah. much. Like I, I it goes into a lot of really fucking dark places and I really liked the character, uh the main character, Nurse Ratchet. It seems like every time it seems like she's caught She's manipulated her way out of it. It's yeah. fucking insane the thing she's able to pull out of absolutely nothing. Oh, yeah. So I thought, you know, her cunning and that itself does very much fit into the actual movie. But she's not the hero. Because no. it sounds like you're describing, like, an awesome main character. She is a no, piece of shit. No, she's the villain. She's hardcore the villain. The show is about the villain, which I love shows like that. And not everyone else is the good guys either. Like No. There's a lot of shades of gray here. Yeah, lots of terrible people, but in an intriguing way. Yes. And it's not just like, oh, everyone sucks, the end. Like, Yeah, so, uh, but that's a quality you see in the actual movie where Nurse Ratched can do the most absolutely heinous shit to people, but on the surface it will look totally called for. Yeah, and like, you can literally see her like, doing these horrible things and you still are like oh no she might be in trouble like yeah. how the fuck do you root for someone who is this fucking terrible and it's, it's so it's very in it's very incredible in the way that at least watching it for me when she's taking the next heinous step i'm like yeah well of course yeah, this doesn't see she's gotta murder that guy you know what I'm like, saying? the logic she uses has built up in your mind as in the audience into thinking like that's an actual line of thought that should be followed yeah it is they do a very good it's job like, it's like she's manipulating us too yeah well that's <sighs> the thing they they really do help you connect with her in a yeah. very serious way and i mean the title sequence is so fucking cool it is and ladies and gentlemen the vent <laughs> and it is at least I think it was much, I wouldn't say a slog. With Sweet Home, I couldn't fucking put it down. Oh, yeah. I watched the whole thing in you one tore, It sitting. tore me out of what I was doing. Like, yeah. I was doing something else with headphones, and I would look up and be like, what the fuck? What the fuck? What the fuck? And so I just had to stop doing what I was doing. And the thing about Sweet Home is it totally ropes you in about, you know, these horrific monsters. And you think it's going to play out kind of like a zombie movie. Yeah. Where it's just people versus zombies, gore, that kind of yeah. stuff. That's the nice one. That's the weird one. That's the hero. And that's maybe it for the first two and a half episodes. And then it's all about the people. Yeah. Like, the monsters themselves don't become as big of a deal, but it's still just as fucking... You can't take your eyes away from it. Yeah. You gotta figure out what's going on. Oh, yeah. There's always mysteries. There's new shit happening. Just as soon as you think, oh, so this is gonna be the series arc. Nope! Next episode, that's <laughs> gone. We're moving on to something else, but in a good way. Yeah, the show is They don't like, rush it, but... It's a thrill ride. It's absolute yeah. whiplash. Yeah. <laughs> it feels like everything moves from piece to piece in the order it would. Yeah. Whereas Ratched is much is much more kind of slow, yeah. calculated. Like I said, it's got a lot of uh, American 
horror story kind of vibes. It does not get into that gruesome of territory. Sometimes. But but it deals with very real uh, fucked up topics. Yeah. And I think it explores them just enough to be uncomfortable but not overbearing. Yeah, and it gives you space to put, to have imagination with it. Because mm-hmm. if it just played everything out, not only would that be boring to watch, but there would be no like Oh my god. It's like the end of a classic horror movie when it's shown the the villain, the the killer hand out of the grave. Like, it leaves you with that feeling of, what if, what if, oh my god. What, they're not dead yet. They're still, Right. Like, if ever, if they just showed the villain being, like, stabbed to death, buried, dismembered, and then done, there'd be no, like, there'd be no horror. Mm -hmm. And I'm not, that's, I'm just taking that feeling from the analogy over here yeah. because if they don't show every little bit playing out, but they, they yeah. And there are parts of Nurse Ratched where I feel like we're kind of ham fisted, like they just kind of slammed it in there, and yeah. it was kind of a dead end, or like things that happen that I just get annoyed with in shows. But that's just me. Yeah. So uh, I would also recommend Ratched very much. I feel like I don't have to tell a whole lot of people to watch it because I feel like the entire world has fucking watched it. I didn't even know it existed. <laughs> I mean, it is pretty new. It, yeah. it came out, what, last year? God, I, I don't know. Maybe yeah. even earlier. Yeah. I know when I looked it up that they said they filmed it in 2018, but it only debuted on Netflix in 2020. Yeah. Um, so, both of them, to me, were very good. The best thing about both of them was that you and me binged watched it together. (laughs) Oh, God. That, like, exemplified all of my joy, like, ten times over. Yeah. Um, It is hard for me to watch new stuff without getting utterly exhausted. And and these were hours and hours and hours you were putting in. Granted, right before bed. Right. It's not like I had to go take a fucking SAT afterwards, well, but... that's even more significant, because right before you go to bed is when you have the least amount of energy. Yeah. And what made it even better for me is that you didn't sit there and be like, hey, you should watch this with me. I just... I was like, that looks good. Bree's watching it. I want to watch this with Bree. <laughs> Tuning in to whatever the fuck my girlfriend's watching. Yeah, but if you just sit there and like, hey, 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 you must watch this. You should watch this. Like, I, I don't say it like that. I'm you, like, do you want to watch this with me? Do yeah. you want to watch? Yeah. And I want to. <laughs> it's just, it's hard, man. Yeah, I get it. Yeah, it's never about not wanting to do it. I always want to. I don't always want to, but I, I more often than not want to. It's just whether or not I can. As you know, but I'll, I'll I'll say my my I could probably go on for it up for a bit longer, but yeah. I'll say for now it's wrapped up so I can get to cooking and also would you be up for watching my macadamia later? No. Dang. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> my favorite show. Ed and Eddie, it is. I don't have to think about that. <laughs> I'm not invested in the story arc of Ed. One. Ed! If I said Double D or Eddie, you'd know who I was talking about. I'm talking about Ed, goddammit. Learn your Eds. Uh, I don't have much to add to her review. Honestly, I loved Sweet Home. It's one of my favorite shows now. It honestly is. I don't know where it goes on the list. Because uh, I, I keep a lot of fucking lists. Like, way too many lists about arbitrary shit. But it, it definitely is going to be on the list somewhere. Uh, and then with Ratchet, it's very nice. I want to see the next season, but I not as much as I want to see season two of Sweet Home. Holy crap.